It is 7.30 in the morning at the Columbus Convention Center, and law school graduates are anxious for day two of taking the Ohio bar exam. I'm very nervous, one. This is an extremely tough exam, too, and hopefully we just pass. I felt like it was a good mix. I felt certain questions were fair, and I remember distinctly studying them, and I knew I had an answer for it. Other times, I remember them saying, this probably is not going to be tested, and sure enough, there it was on the test. The exam starts at 9 a.m., but don't ask anyone for the time. I don't know what time it is because we're not allowed to have cell phones or watches on us. In fact, proctors let graduates bring very few items into the room. A pen, a water bottle, any needed prescription medication, that's pretty much it. It can be a long day. Yesterday, um, essays didn't end until 5.30, so um, I just went home, sort of watched some TV, relaxed. At this point, I don't think that it's really beneficial to study because every time I look at something, I'm like, wait, did I forget that? So. But how hard can this test really be? Uh, yesterday we had two 90-minute uh, MPT tests. What's an MPT test? It's where they give you all made up law, all made up facts, and you have to generate some kind of work product out of that. And then we had, uh, I think it was six uh, half-hour essays where they were asking you specific black letter law on a range of topics. And a lot of these grads have a lot on their plate. I graduated and got married at the same exact time. And that probably wasn't the best decision I've ever made, but uh, I made it through and um, everything's going pretty good so far. It wasn't just young graduates at the exam. Well, yeah, it's hard being the old guy of the group. Um, you know, I was the old guy through law school and now I'm the old guy here. Um, but, you know, honestly, it's, it's a diverse group of people. Nobody makes it through law school that's stupid or uninteresting. Um, so quite frankly, I mean, they're all good kids and, and it, there's been no meltdowns or anything like that. All the horror stories, you rarely see them. Many of those taking the test already have jobs lined up. I will be joining uh, Jones Day in Cleveland following the bar exam. I will be joining the Cuyahoga County Public Defender's Office. I'm moving to West Virginia to work for the Attorney General, so I get to do all this again in a couple months. Doing it again means he'll have to take the West Virginia bar exam to practice in that state. So with all the years, hours, and money spent on going to law school, are there any regrets? Yeah, I'm going to be a little cheesy. I have always wanted to be a lawyer um, since fourth grade, actually. You're asking me at like the worst possible time. Um, yeah, I think so. I think at the end of the day, what I really want to be is an attorney. Um, I like the idea of helping people, and I like, I don't know, I like researching and I like reading, so I guess this is really the only chance that I, I had. Plus, I don't like blood, so becoming a doctor was sort of out of the question. And when it comes to studying the bar and working on a marriage, how did the two stack up? Right now, you know, it's probably marriage. It's probably marriage. I can take the bar over and over and over and over as much as I, I need to, but marriage, you know, one and done. One and done for me. The results will be announced in October. I'm Ann Yeager for Court News Ohio.